I'm Zach Noyle, Canon Explorer of Light, and I'm here for the EOL Challenge. Hi, I'm Anna Vanderwall. I'm a Canon Explorer of Light, and I specialize in things nautical. As you can see, it's a world of boating that I shoot, sailing and power boats and ships and all that good stuff. Challenging fellow EOL Anna Vanderwall, I have my work cut out for me. He is an incredible nautical photographer, so I'm going to be using the Canon R5 24-70 Aquatech Edge Housing put an ND filter. Utilize the in-body stabilization of the R5 and I'm gonna shoot some slow shutter. Today I'll be shooting with the R5, a new R5, and I'm shooting the lens I picked for the Ocean Motion Challenge is the 15 to 35. So we're gonna be working fairly closely and getting the action and showing the motion of the waves. So let's jump into the water and get these shots. As you could see, I just had the, the, the R5 in the housing, and um, my shutter speed was at about a 20th, a 25th. Uh, I had set my f-stop at 20, and I'd switched the autofocus off. That way, the camera doesn't hunt when it sort of gets, tries to focus on the drops of water on the dome port in the Aquatech housing. So um, it, 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 it worked. I think we've got some beautiful stuff. Even though we didn't have bright sunshine, I think we had some very moody stuff with a flag and the motion in the flag and the water. So I'm happy so far. I'm a little wet, but I'm happy. Challenge complete. It was great to shoot head to head with someone I respect so much, Anna van der Waal. I cannot wait to see his images. I'm very happy with my final image that I brought out and what I was able to capture. I really wanted to show the power and the speed of what I see when I'm in the water, treading water, swimming um, amongst these waves. So being able to capture the lip and follow it and track it to gain that composition as well as the focus and just the movement of the water, it's exactly what I wanted. I'm stoked to share it with you guys and I hope you guys enjoy.
I think it went really well out there. You know, we started off with some mediocre light and some mediocre breeze, and I was like, ah, this is gonna be not gonna be great. But as time went on, we got more and more wind and more sun, and it became beautiful. And, and my whole idea of sort of shooting handheld from the bumpy chase boat, um, yeah, at times that's challenging too. I wanted to go slow shutter speed, and I like the angle, but then I suddenly realized I want to get down into the water and get closer into the spray and really get the action going because that's what Zach's doing. He's in the water, he's in the waves. Um, you know, he's probably in the tube with a surfer coming through. I gotta, I can't just be sitting on a boat. This thing's gonna just come alive. And so we ended up putting the R5 with a 15 to 35 lens in the Aquatech Edge housing, which is a new housing that was designed for the R5. And, uh, but the camera's protected, firing away and trying to get this action. And I really think we nailed it because I was with a slow shutter speed of about a 20th, 15 to 20, 15 millimeter, and the water just coming right along. And we had my boat driver keeping the boat in position. I really think we got some exciting stuff. Thanks for watching the Ocean Motion Challenge where I go head to head with Zach Noyle out in Hawaii. So I hope you enjoyed.